Hello my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So now that we're into the third week of January, I know that many of you are back to school or back to work full steam ahead. Your schedules are probably back to being chaotic and to make matters worse, the cold weather is probably making it super difficult for you to manage your hair. I know that mine has taken a serious hit in that department and let me tell you, I am not happy about it. I know how crazy this time of year can be, so I wanted to show you a bunch of easy and quick hairstyles that anyone can create, even the lazy girl. They're perfect for those of you who want to put very little effort into your hair and not look like a hot mess. And I'm pretty sure that's like 99% of you, including myself. So if you want to see my quick and easy lazy girl hairstyles, please keep watching. So for the first hairstyle, all I'm doing is picking up a chunk of hair from the top and center of each side of my head and I'm braiding it into a Dutch braid and then pulling it apart with my fingers. Once I finish braiding my two Dutch braids, I'm just connecting them at the back of my head and tying them together with a small hair elastic. Then I'm removing the small hair elastics that are keeping each individual braid together and then I'm hiding the base of the hair elastic that's keeping the two Dutch braids together with a strand of hair from the underside of my head. So as you can see, I'm taking a small strand of hair from the underside and I'm wrapping it around the base of the little ponytail and then I'm going in and securing that in place with a bobby pin or two. For the second quick and easy lazy girl hairstyle, all I'm doing is gathering all of the hair around my crown area and I'm tying it together at the back of my head with a small hair elastic. Then I'm taking this ponytail that we just created and I'm twisting it and wrapping it around itself to create a little bun or chignon at the back of my head. And to secure that in place, I'm just pinning it down with a few bobby pins and once it feels secure, I'm done. Oh, and I also just like to go in with my fingers and gently pull out on the bun to make it a little more fluffy. For the next hairstyle, I'm just separating my hair in the middle horizontally and then I'm taking the top section and splitting that vertically and then tying these two sections together into a knot. Once I have my knot, I'm gathering all of the remaining loose hair at the bottom, including the loose ends of the knot, and I'm tying all this together into a low ponytail. Once I have my low ponytail, I'm just taking a section of hair from the underside of the ponytail and I'm wrapping it around the base of the ponytail to cover up the hair elastic. And once I've wrapped it around the base a couple times, I'm just taking a couple bobby pins and pinning down that section in place so it doesn't move anywhere. For this look, I'm sectioning out two big chunks of hair around the front of my face and then I'm gathering all of the remaining loose hair in the back and tying it into a low ponytail. Once I have my low ponytail, I'm taking these two sections that I sectioned away in the beginning and I'm twisting them and tying them together at the back of my head and then wrapping the ends of the knot that I just created and securing them to the underside of the ponytail so that the knot is wrapped around the top of the ponytail elastic. To secure the ends of the knot, I'm just tying them together at the underside of my ponytail with a small hair elastic and then I'm going in with my fingers and just adjusting the knot so that it sits directly over the hair elastic and covers it up. Buns are super quick and easy and perfect to create on those lazy days, but if you wanna add a little bit more zhuzh to it, here's what I like to do. So I take a section of hair from either side of my face and then I twist them upwards. Once I've done this, I gather them together with all of my remaining loose hair and I tie it into a low ponytail at the back of my head. Once I have my ponytail, I'm taking the ponytail itself and I'm twisting it and wrapping it around itself to create a twisted bun. And then I'm just going in with a bunch of bobby pins and securing this bun in place so it doesn't go anywhere. And once the bun feels secure, I like to go into my fingers and fluff out the bun a little bit more to make it bigger and also to cover up the hair elastic if it is visible. So here's another quick and easy option if you wanna put your hair up into a bun. So you can take your hair to one side and just tie it into a low ponytail. You can also do this at the back of your head and then braid the loose hair into a big chunky rope braid. And to do that, you wanna separate the working section into two sections. And in this case, I'm twisting each individual strand towards my face and then wrapping the strands around each other away from my face. I'm just repeating this technique until I get all the way to the bottom 
bottom and I can't braid anymore and I'm securing my rope braid with a small hair elastic. Now I'm just taking my rope braid and wrapping it around itself at the base of the ponytail that I created and I'm pinning it down with a bunch of bobby pins. So for those of you who like half up styles, this is one of my favorite ways to quickly and easily style my hair in less than a minute. So I just take all of the hair around my crown area and I pull it up into a high ponytail. And sometimes I leave out some face framing pieces and sometimes I don't. Clearly today I decided that my face needed some framing. So I'm leaving out some face framing pieces and I'm tying the remainder of the hair into a high ponytail. Once I've tied this hair into a high ponytail, what I like to do is take a chunk of hair from the underside of the ponytail. So this hair is not coming from the ponytail itself, it's coming from right underneath it. And I'm wrapping it around the base of the ponytail to cover up the elastic and give this hairstyle a little bit more polish. I like doing this because if you take a chunk of hair from the ponytail itself, especially when you have such a small ponytail, it makes the ponytail look a lot thinner and less fluffy. So as you can see, I'm just wrapping that section around the base of the ponytail and then I'm just just going to secure it in place with a couple of bobby pins. So this is another half up style option if you don't like the half up ponytail version. So you wanna just create another ponytail just the same way as you did before, tie it together with a small hair elastic. And then what I like to do is take this ponytail and wrap it around itself at the base and pin it down with a bunch of bobby pins to create a little bun. It also helps to twist the ponytail as you wrap it around itself to make sure that it stays in place and it's just easier to pin down that way. This is honestly one of my favorite half up styles when I'm in a hurry. So what I do is just take all of the hair around my crown area and I'm braiding it into a regular three strand or Dutch braid. And in this case, I'm braiding a Dutch braid. You can do whatever feels more comfortable for you. Personally, it feels more comfortable for me to braid a Dutch braid in this kind of position for some reason, but I've also recreated the same look with a regular three strand braid and it looks just as good. I also don't like braiding this braid all the way to the ends. I like leaving out a few inches of loose hair at the ends. I just feel like it looks more easy and effortless. And then I'm just going ahead and securing the braid in place with a small hair elastic and then fluffing out the braid a little bit to make it thicker and more bohemian looking. So this next hairstyle, I'm not gonna lie, may take a little bit of practice, but I assure you once you get it, it's super cute. And I promise you, it doesn't have to look perfect to look good. So all I'm doing is taking the hair around my crown area and I'm gathering it to one side of my head and I'm tying it together with a small hair elastic. Then I'm taking another small hair elastic and I'm tying it around the same area as I just tied the first one. And then on the last tie, I'm pulling the ponytail about halfway through the loop and then I'm splitting this bun that I created into two. Then I'm taking the loose ends of the ponytail and splitting it into two and I'm taking one half and wrapping it around the center of those two loops that I created and I'm making a hole above the hair elastic with my fingers and pulling that loose end through the hole and out through the bottom. After I've done that, I'm taking the loose end that I just pulled through and combining it with the original loose end and I'm securing them together at the base with a small hair elastic. And then just to make sure that this beautiful hair bow that we just created stays in place, I'm just taking a couple of bobby pins and pinning it to the side of my head. Now this is a super quick and easy lazy girl hairstyle that literally takes about 20 seconds or so, but it looks really, really cute. So what I'm doing is just taking a small chunk of hair from the top of one side and I'm braiding it into a regular three strand braid. Then I'm just picking up some loose hair around the braid and I'm pinning all of this hair at the back of my head. Then I'm just going in and creating the same pulled back effect on the other side. So this is another super quick and easy way that a lazy girl can just pull the hair away from her face. So all I'm doing is taking hair from one side of my head and I'm twisting it and combining some hair into that section. I'm twisting it all the way around the back of my head and bringing it over to the opposite side. Then I'm taking a section of hair from the opposite side and twisting it in the opposite direction. And once I've done that, I'm just securing these two sections together with a small hair elastic. 
So for this next hairstyle, I'm sectioning away all of the hair in the front of my face and I'm taking all of the loose hair and tying it into a low ponytail at the back of my head. Once I've done that, I'm taking small sections of hair from the larger sections that I separated in the beginning and I'm just draping them across the back of my head and pinning them down on the opposite side with a bobby pin or two. So I'm just repeating these steps until I run out of hair to work with and then all of the loose ends that I have remaining at the very end, I'm taking them and wrapping them around the base of the ponytail to hide the hair elastic. This is another one of my favorite quick and easy hairstyles. So all I'm doing is taking all of the hair around my crown area and I'm separating it into two. I'm taking these two strands and tying them together into a knot. And then I'm picking up a section of hair from either side of my head beneath that, combining it into those loose ends and tying another knot. I'm gonna repeat this step one more time and then I'm going to tie all of the loose ends together with a small hair elastic to create this beautiful knotted half up style. I also forgot to mention that I'm wearing my fancy hair extensions to create every single look in this tutorial. This just goes to show that you can create any hairstyle under the sun with clip and hair extensions. Another thing you can do with this hairstyle is take all of the loose hair and tie it together at the nape of the neck into a messy bun. And as you can see, that's exactly what I did here. And then all I'm doing is taking the loose ends from the bun that I just created and I wrap them around the base of the ponytail to cover up the hair elastic and I'm pinning that down in place with a couple bobby pins. So for my last quick and easy lazy girl hairstyle, what I'm doing is just gathering all of the hair around my crown area and I'm tying it together at the back of my head with a small hair elastic. Then I'm picking up two sections of hair from either side of my head and I'm tying these two sections together right below the first section with another small hair elastic. So now that I have these two sections, I'm creating an opening in the first section and taking the second section and pulling it through the front and out through the bottom of the section. And this is going to create a beautiful twisted effect. I'm going to repeat this step one more time and then I'm going to go in and gently pull out the sides of the twist with my fingers to make this twist a little looser. All right, my love, so that wraps up my quick and easy lazy girl hairstyle tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new and will be able to use some of the tips and tricks that I showed you in today's tutorial for the next time you're running late for school or for work or you just need a quick and easy hairstyle that doesn't make you look like a hot mess. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I hope to see you in my next video.